This question has been asked from me many times. How you can hard code subtitles to your video? I'm gonna answer that, but I'm gonna also uh, tell you how you can hard code Aegisub subtitle styles to your video. So maybe you have made Aegisub subtitles. Uh, and you have like specific styles here, you have blue color and uh, transparent box here and all that and we are gonna see how you can hard code these styles also to your video. So two things here today and just before we start I just want to remind you that you can subscribe to my channel if you find these videos any helpful. So thank you if you subscribe. So how you can uh, hard code subtitles to your video if you don't have, for example, Adobe Premiere or something like that. So we are gonna use the VLC player, everybody knows VLC, so let's just uh, jump right into this. With my video I have two subtitle files, so I have named these like this. So this is the subrib subtitle file, so the SRT file. And this uh, here is the ASS file, so advanced SSA Aegisub subtitle file. And this ASS file should have the Aegisub subtitle style. So if we open this Aegisub subtitle editor, you, you see we have the styles here, okay? We have the font is blue and it has the black transparent box behind it. Okay, so and this SRT file doesn't have this much style in it. So so this SRT file is very plain text compared to this ASS file. So and let's watch this video uh, very quickly here so we can see uh, both of the subtitle files attached to this video. So okay, let's open this and first it's playing with the SRT file. So these are the subtitles here. Okay, you saw them and uh, if we change the subtitle track here, it's the track one now and change it to track two. Okay, let's see. And now it's playing the ASS file with all of the styles. Okay, now you know which kind of styles we have here. So let's just open the VLC player. We are gonna talk about these a little bit later because there's one important thing to notice here anymore. Just search for your VLC player. You have to open it like empty. Open your VLC player. Okay, and uh, I'm just gonna resize this a little bit. Okay, how you can uh, hardcode subtitles with VLC player? For the sake of the length of this tutorial, I'm I'm not gonna tell you all of the options and all of the choices you have while you are doing this hard coding here. So I'm just gonna tell you the basic way how you can hardcode subtitles to your video. So just saying and let's begin. So go media and stream. And uh, you have to know your video that you are hardcoding the subtitles to. So so it's the test video here and uh, let's click here add and it's here test video and double click that. You don't have to click here and you don't have to click here. Okay let's go to stream click here and go to next and in this window you have to leave everything as it is and click here add. So we need to find a place and uh, like file name that we are gonna uh, save our file to. So let's click here, browse. And I'm just gonna save it to next to my test video. This I'm just gonna name with uh, test video and uh, subtitles. Okay. And I'm just gonna hit enter and uh, everything is fine. And click next. Here you can choose basically your quality of your video. And we are just gonna use the H264 and MP4. So uh, click here and go to subtitles. And in this window, as I have read and heard and saw, you don't need to stress about the codec here because you only want to overlay the subtitles on the video. So don't stress about the codec here. And I have also tested this with both of the codecs here. So it didn't bring me any different results. You can read more about the codecs and uh, different subtitle file types which VLC supports from here from videoland.org subtitles. I will, I will put all of the links to under this video so you can read more about these things from there. So let's continue and click save and next everything's fine here and click this stream button. Now you wonder where everything went and uh, it's, it's here actually 
uh, the VLC player is transcoding your uh, video here, as you can see. So now it has transcoded your video. So let's click here, and your video is uh, here. Test video subtitle. So let's see that. And uh, <clears throat> now you can see it's showing the subtitles. So the subtitles have been successfully encoded to this video. And if we try to change the subtitle track here, it's not gonna say anything about uh, subtitle tracks, because there is none. So, everything is fine here. But how did this VLC like decide which subtitle to transcode to this video? Because we had two subtitle files here, as you can see. Uh, the ASS file and the SRT file, so it uh, transcoded the uh, SRT file, because the SRT file didn't have any styles on it. The ASS file had the blue color and all that, so how can you hard code these uh, subtitles which had the ASS styles in those subtitles to your video? Uh, you can do it like this, please uh, stay with me. As we hard coded the subtitles to our video just a moment ago, you might have thought that uh, actually we didn't choose any subtitles what we are gonna like hard code to our video, okay? As we went through the settings in the VLC player. So what's going on here? So I have tested this many times now and it just works like this. So if you want like a specific subtitle file to be hard-coded to your uh, video here, you have to name the subtitle file the same as the video is. So if I would like to have this ASS file to be uh, hard-coded to my test video, I have to name this uh, ASS file exactly as this video is, so I would have to name this uh, to test video. So now if I went through the settings with the VLC player, it would hard code this ASS file to, to this video here. So I think the VLC player just on default it search for SRT file, and if it finds an SRT file here, it will hard code that subtitle file to your video. Now let's try this a naming thing. If we just name this here to test video and test video and let's try this uh, again very fast. So we'll see. Let's open this VLC player here and go to media stream and let's choose the file and test video and just go to here stream and next and at your location and just I'm just gonna save it to the same folder and test video with the ASS subtitle so save and next and the file format here and subtitles t.140 and overlay the subtitles on the video and save and next and stream and let's hope for the best Okay, and now it has done its thing. So let's close this. Let's open this ASS subtitles file here and see what's going on. And as you can see, it has transcoded the uh, correct subtitles to this video. And if we try this subtitle and try to change the track here, it, it won't recognize any subtitles here. So as you can see, it's working even if you like resize the video, it's going with the video here because it's hard-coded to the video. Everything is fine. So, this was it. As I said to you, I won't cover all of the settings there because you can do it by yourself. Uh, I just showed you the basic way how you can hard-code the subtitles to your, to your video. And I hope you learned something here today and uh, if you learned, please hit the like button and Subscribe to my channel if you find this video any helpful. Remember to follow me on Instagram because Instagram is our most updated social media channel. And yeah, I'm Johannes and I thank you for watching and see you in the next one.